What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about iOS 18.2.1, which was released by Apple today. We're going to take a look at whether this is good for jailbreak purposes and what you should do, whether you should keep waiting on iOS 18.2 or lower, or whether you can update. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, Apple logo, and so on. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So today, Apple released iOS 18.2.1 and iPadOS 18.2.1. This doesn't have any CVE published at the moment, so there are no vulnerabilities that have been published, and there is no security content for iOS 18.2.1, which hints to the fact that the security content of it is the same as the iOS 18.2. So for now, unless Apple publishes more information about the security content for this release, it should be safe to assume that if you go from iOS 18.2 to iOS 18.2.1, there shouldn't be any change in your chance to jailbreak in the future. However, if you take a look here at the iOS 18.2, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. There are several vulnerabilities that have been patched on iOS 18.2 that are available on previous versions that could potentially be useful for jailbreak purposes. First, we have a couple of Apple Mobile File Integrity or Anthe vulnerabilities. Anthe is usually targeted in a jailbreak because this is what handles the code signing, but in this case, it just leaks private information, apparently, and sensitive data, so not exactly a great thing that we could use for jailbreak purposes. However, more important are a pair of vulnerabilities, these two over here. This pair is actually quite interesting. First vulnerability says an app may be able to break out of its sandbox, potentially leading to a um, nugget-like application maybe, if it can write to files that it doesn't have access to. And then we have another vulnerability in the same component, and this one says an app may be able to gain elevated privileges. If you combine these two vulnerabilities over here, you may be able to get elevated privileges, possibly root, and then you can also break out of the sandbox, potentially be being able to create a powerful customization app just based on this. Right now, we don't have any releases for these vulnerabilities. However, as time passes, we might be able to see them in the wild. The rest of the vulnerabilities here in the security content are kind of weak for jailbreak purposes. They just leak sensitive user data or sensitive memory, but not exactly useful for jailbreak purposes. However, these two vulnerabilities over here, potentially this one over here as well, could be used if exploited for customization or possibly a semi-jailbreak type of application. Now, what I would recommend if you do not need the bug fixes of iOS 18.2.1, if you're running a previous version, especially below 18.2, I would highly recommend you'd stay below 18.2 because these vulnerabilities in here could prove useful. And by now, a lot of time has passed since iOS, say, 18.1 was released. So we might start seeing this kind of vulnerabilities in the wild. For those of you who are interested in delay OTA, I've also updated my article on delay OTA profiles. Probably know this is used for updating to an unsigned iOS version uh, long after it was unsigned. And the table is now reflecting the latest changes. So you have 18.2.1, which is the current release. And then you have the 18.2, which will expire in April. The closest one that will expire is iOS 18.0.1, which will expire on the 26th of January, 2025. So quite soon. And the iOS 18.0, the delay OTA profile has officially expired. So it's no longer possible to delay OTA to iOS 18.0. Anyway, if you stay below iOS 18.2, that's probably going to be good in the long term because you might have access to this kind of vulnerabilities and everything below. So that would be great. I wouldn't update 18.2.1 at the moment. There isn't really much of a thing patched as far as I can see, but you might lose these vulnerabilities that could turn up to be useful. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Peace out.